Welcome to this tutorial on transitioning from Unreal Engine to Odyssey. All Odyssey projects are built on Unreal Engine technology and remain compatible with it. This means you can open any existing Unreal Engine assets in Odyssey seamlessly. Today, we'll work through how to choose an interesting Unreal asset and open it with Odyssey. Before we can transition from Unreal Engine to Odyssey, we need to ensure we have the Epic Games Launcher set up correctly. This involves signing up for an Epic Games account, downloading and installing the launcher, and configuring it so that the marketplace places the asset in the correct location. First, let's sign up for an Epic Games account if you don't already have one. Go to the Epic Games website and click on Sign In at the top right corner and follow the prompts to create your account. Once you have an account, download the Epic Games Launcher from the Epic Games website. Click on Download and run the installer once the download is complete. By following these steps, you've set up the Epic Games Launcher correctly. Now that we have everything set up, we can move on to selecting and importing assets from Unreal Engine to Odyssey. First, let's find some interesting assets from the Unreal Marketplace and download it. These will be the assets we open and work with in Odyssey. Browse through the Marketplace and select assets that suit your interests. Once you've found the right assets, add it to your cart and pay for it. The item will appear into your vault in the Library tab. Now that we have our assets, let's open it in an appropriate version of Odyssey in regards of the version of Unreal Engine the asset is compatible with. Click on Add to Project. Check Show All Project to display Odyssey projects. If the section remains empty, it comes from the parameters of the Epic Games Store. In this case, close the Epic Games Launcher, make sure it's not running at all or silently. Then go to the directory in your disk C, in user, in the name of your user, app data, local, Epic Games Launcher, in save, in config, windows, and you're gonna open game user setting ini. Inside, we're gonna change the directory in create project path to include Odyssey projects. Do not forget to save before starting the Epic Games Store again. Afterwards, we're going to open the Epic Games Launcher again, we're going to go into our vault, and we're going to add the asset to our project. Click again on Show All Projects, and Odyssey Projects should appear. Select the Odyssey project you want to use to put your new asset. Ensure you're using a version of Odyssey in regards of the version of Unreal Engine the asset is compatible with. Then, add the asset to the project. When you launch Odyssey, you can see in the splash screen the version of Unreal it's using. Open the project in Odyssey and make sure everything is in place. Your assets should then be available in your content browser. All assets downloaded have an original copy on your computer. Make sure you delete them from time to time to prevent your drive to be fulfilled with marketplace assets. To do so, click on the yellow arrow to remove local content in the Epic Games Launcher in your vault. Next, we are migrate assets from Unreal Engine to Odyssey. You can choose to migrate and import only the asset you need for your project. From within Unreal Engine, select the asset you want to migrate. Right-click on the selected asset and choose Migrate. Follow the prompts to export these assets to a new Odyssey project. Make sure the migrated assets will always be placed into the content folder of the recipient project. Let's go back to our opened Odyssey project. You should see the migrated assets and be ready to start working. To migrate assets from an Odyssey project to another, just repeat those steps. Right-click on the selected asset and choose Migrate. Follow the prompts to export this asset to a new Odyssey project. Again, make sure the migrated asset will always be placed into the content folder of the recipient project.
you can use various file types, such as images, WAV files, FBX files, and more. Before you can use these assets, they need to be imported into your Odyssey project. Click the Import button in the Content Browser and select the files you want to add to your project. Ensure that your assets are properly integrated and ready for use. Also, to add another asset in Odyssey, you can simply drag and drop files directly into the Content Browser. Once imported, you can manage and organize your assets within the Content Browser for easy access. Create folders, rename files, and move assets as needed to keep your project organized and efficient. Odyssey is compatible with Rich and Megascans. It's a large library of high-quality cinema-grade assets scanned from the real world. To use Bridge and Megascans in Odyssey, you will need an Unreal account. If you don't have one, please go back to the first step of this tutorial. Once logged in, open the Bridge window. Browse and select the asset you want to add to your project. Choose the appropriate optimized texture that's going to go along with your asset to go into your project. Then, add the selected asset to a project and download it. The assets will now be available within your Odyssey project, ready to use. And that's how you can transition from Unreal Engine to Odyssey. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials.